Hi, I'm Jessica from Devolutions, and in this video, we'll look at how to give members of a specific role access to a vault. So just to show you, these are the roles I have, and today we'll be taking Service Desk and giving them access to a new client who's called Telemark. Um, we've actually made a vault for this new client, so I'll just go to Administration Vaults. If you're using an old version of RDM, it might be called Repositories. So I'll click there, and this is the vault I was telling you about for Telemark. Now what I'll do is click Assign Roles. And here's the service desk, and I'll choose to make them a member um, with a check mark and save it. So now all the members of this role, service desk, have access to this vault. But we're not quite done yet. We need to think about permissions before everything will be set up how I want. Um, this is the Telemark vault, and I'll just go in the root settings to show you something. And then permissions. So I have a vault that's set up with restricted access. That means that all of the root settings are at never, meaning that no one can add, edit, delete, or even see anything until I give them permission. Concretely, what that means in this setup is that the service desk role that we just gave access can't actually view the entries yet. It's possible also that when you open this window, you might have seen that your vault is set up with default permissions at the root settings. In that case, the permissions are inherited from the users. The service desk role would be able to see everything in the vault, but what they would be able to do would depend on how the permissions were configured at the user level. What I'm saying is that in either case, when you assign a role to a vault, you should just check out what the permissions are at the root setting to be able to know what people are going to be able to see or do. Um, in my case, I'm going to leave it to never because I'm going to set the permissions at the folder level. And then I'll click properties. So I'll just click permissions. And here we see it's set to default, so it's inheriting the root settings. I'm going to change it to custom. And then I'll add the service desk that they're able to view it. Okay, and I also want the service desk to be able to open remote connections. So for execute, I'm going to change it to custom. So I'll add the service desk here and click OK. And there, that's OK. So then I could go in and do that as well for the Montreal folder or add an entry level as well. So that's how you assign the members of a role to a vault. And don't forget to check out the permissions so that you can be on top of what the users can see and do in a vault. And be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about how to set up permissions. Thanks a lot for watching.